Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Well today I thought I would do something a little different and I thought I would go through my skincare routine but and instead of just talking about things and showing you products I thought I would take off what makeup I have left from my day. So I'll get a clip and just pin it back, pin back the yellow hair. My hair is still a bit wet, I just washed it. I don't know why. I just washed it because I won't wash it tomorrow. So if I'm not going to wash it the next day, I'll wash it late at night and then put like dry shampoo in overnight to just like let it settle in. So put my phone there. So I'm just taking these like cotton pads. I just get ones from Tesco, Little. You can get them from anywhere. Um, I think these are they're quite thick. So right, where do I start? that fan noise was my um the bathroom thing so i'm going to take two i'm going to take this micellar lotion what micellar solution from l'oreal i use this to take off my makeup um and just to kind of get the mascara and stuff off i find it's great for that um it sometimes can leave my nose dry which i don't really understand but i don't know We'll see anyway so I'll just pop that on this is probably one of the most boring videos and get like zero views but what else I have a video from yesterday to go up but I'm just waiting to get some music back from my friend because I had to fast forward some of the stuff um because it was obviously from Bristol Fashion Week so that is one eye and that was only like half of my makeup I didn't even have like a lot on and I had no primer on today so the make the eye makeup did not last one bit. Just taking everything out of my eyebrows. Do you have to excuse the mess I will look afterwards? <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I'm very committed to my channel to do this. I don't think there's many of you that would um be on camera this long with no makeup on. But anyway, I think that's everything off. Certainly, I always miss the bin. Certainly feels like it. What I tend to do is go over it again at the end. So after that, I just let my skin kind of breathe a few minutes. Go back in with another small amount, not too much. And just take off my face, the makeup on my face. I've already kind of done this with a baby wipe before I got into my bath, but we'll go again anyways. I do, yeah, I do like this stuff. Not the best stuff, but it's good for it's good for eye makeup and shiz like that. So you can see, there's still quite a bit on my face. I don't even wear that much makeup. <laughs> just shows you how bad baby wipes are at getting things off. Sometimes I go in with this L'Oreal toner. Um, it's not the best, so I haven't really used it too often. I haven't used it since I got this Skin Etica. This is for blemish. It's like, um, oh, I'll read it back out, sorry, the itchy nose. <laughs> Removes any makeup or moisturizers. Apply with a cotton pad to clean, dry skin, thoroughly covering the affected areas, taking care to avoid the eyes. Leave for a few minutes to air dry and repeat every 12 hours. It's for, it clears acne, sp clears acne, spots, pimples and blemishes. Fast acting, skin clearing, kind of skin, no side effects. Um, I've been using this for, I only have a small bit left, so I'm going to just spare it out for the next few days. Um, I've been using this for about a week now and I had been kind of tweeting my daily progress, but I stopped because I wanted to kind of give a better full on review. I I like it. I have some spots around my neck, which is awful. Putting on places that need that bit of help. So this part of my nose gets very dry, especially in the coals, here and here. As you can see, it's going red where I've used it. They're the only places I usually use it. Um, I do have a full review to come on this 
which I will put on my blog but um, definitely a 9 out of 10 for me I do find that it doesn't help all of my dry skin but that's that's just that's just it unfortunately I'm in pyjama bottoms <laughs> Right, so that's kind of air dried. Now, um, I just wanted to talk through um, a weekly routine and a daily routine. Most days, maybe out of seven days, I do this about five days. This is a Neutrogena blackhead, blackhead Eliminating Scrub. I can't talk today. I use this five days a week just to kind of really give my skin a good clean. I find that it's, I don't use it twice a day, just use it in the morning. I do really find that it helps, um, especially helps with my nose area because I have blackheads on my nose like everybody and it just, yeah, it just makes my skin feel really nice and fresh. I've started to use this as like a mask maybe twice a week. It's quite thick, um, it's almost like clay. I'll show you how thick it is. It is really thick. So that's what it is. And this is the Garnier. <clears throat> you know, I just take it off my hand. It's really. It smells quite nice, actually. This is the Garnier Pure Three in One um, Wash Scrub and Mask. It's basically for imperfection prone skin so um it's quite i think it's quite expensive it's about six pound i think when i purchased it it was six so i might have gone down since then but um i like to use this twice a week as a mask just leave it on for about three minutes and yeah yeah it's quite good it's just thick 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 so my final thing before I go to bed or before I whatever um, is this moisturizer from Garnier. It's for oily skin. It's a 24 hour moisturizer. It mattifies and fights against spots. Um, does it work? It doesn't always work. It kind of, I use it every other day. I don't like to use it all the time. I use that amount on my skin. Just kind of put it onto my fingers and put it around my face where I kind of need it and wham bam thank you ma'am I, I do need to buy an eye cream I don't have an eye cream at the moment but if you can recommend an eye cream I would really appreciate it and that is me good to go in the mornings I put my professional on which is here um and if it's night time where is it if it's night time and it's dry and the air is dry and I usually put my balmy on because I love it but I if I find my face needs a bit of moisture on my neck and stuff I always use this cocoa butter from Palmer's it's really oh my god it smells so nice it's really beautiful just a considerable dent in mine I just love this stuff it really really helps my face when I wake up in the morning just be moisturized feels really hydrated it's just absolutely beautiful and beautiful <laughs> Oh god, jeez, it's only a moisturizer, Vicky. It's just a, it's just great. It's great for all around your body. Um, I know that the boyfriend loves it too. He has his own tub because I don't share. But yeah, it's just really amazing, and I would highly recommend this for anyone who has really dry skin and wants something to put on or their face or body overnight to moisturize and wake up like with a nice moisturized skin. What I will say is that when you put it on at first, your skin does get quite like greasy feeling and I always like make fun of um, myself and James if we both have it on our faces because I'm like, you know, it's really, it's touch each other's noses and we're slipping. It's just, really, it's just funny, but I highly recommend this and smell, I have to smell it again because I can't not smell it. Um, when I, one more thing about my kind of skincare or whatever. Um, I was really on the fence about trying Soap and Glory Righteous Butter and I've it's been sitting in my room for ages. I've kind of gone through quite a bit of it. I used it today after my bath. This is also very good for just straight away out of the shower, out of the bath, pop it onto your skin. It makes your skin smell so nice all day and it's really moisturizing. It feels so nice and it's a bit sweet smelling but it's, it's like nice enough to kind of 
you don't mind you know but um yeah that is all my skincare i hope that this was helpful to anyone if you can recommend an eye cream i would really appreciate it down below um i did record my favorites but i accidentally deleted it on my computer because i'm an idiot so i'll have that up in the next few days and it'll just be beauty favorites and random favorites and it's it's quite good actually so yeah talk to you later bye